last part, yeah. uh, being highest was not the criteria. Just like you have said, if you expected me to be number three, number four, I don't know why you expected me to be that. I don't know because you are a man, I'm a woman. <laughs> not I really. don't know. Uh, but anybody can be one, of two, course. three. And uh, the appointment has nothing to do with coming out one or two because that is not in our, in our constitution, not even in our regulation. We didn't say the highest must get the highest position, no. So this must come from what the president himself is thinking. He hasn't yet started to fully tell me why he thought I could deputize him. But I think I've worked with him well. I think I've worked with colleagues well. That is how you see uh, what you are mm. uh, talking about. So the appointment may not be associated with the figures that you saw. We agreed that we're going to the pool. So when you go into the pool, you can be fish to first or last, you will be last, but you are in the pool. But critically speaking and logically speaking, it means that you are the most popular candidate, logically speaking. Yeah, but popularity alone doesn't give the capacity. Let me You're tell right. you, if, if popularity gave capacity, I think we would, do a, we would see a lot of good things Happen in our country. land. But unfortunately, sometimes people come out as popular based on what so I, i'm not undergrading myself i think uh, i think uh, it's good i feel good inside but reality is capacity must not 100 percent be attributed we would not have bad governments if capacity was attributed to the Popularity. figures mm. some people deceive others and get the highest uh, i didn't deceive anybody i must admit not at all. I didn't spend a coin to bribe anybody because I hate the bribery that goes around the elections anywhere. I will not be part of that because these are the things we are fighting. And that was a resolve within my heart that right now we are fighting a system that uses bribery that corrupts the people's minds, that pays for the vote. I am not going to pay one way to anybody that voted for me. You can ask them. I'm declaring it here. Well, um, I love the fact that you've driven this conversation to issues of popularity. And uh, allow me to pinch in this question. The, the, the Patriotic Front has been clear through their Secretary General, Honorable Davis Miller, that they will adopt candidates based on their popularity. Mm. I'd like to know the uh, criteria, you know, the process of the adoption process for the UPND when it comes to, okay. you know, uh, candidates that are going to vie for, for different positions in the forthcoming elections. We are still maintaining the processes we have used before. Which are? Oh, we start right from the, the real people who know who they want to serve them are the people in the constituencies. They are the people in the world. And when they have done their bid, we will also go through. They will make recommendations throughout. There will be names recommended until names come to the national management. Those names that will come will be, according to them, the best of those that are applying on our uh, party. They will bring maximum three, whether they were 10 or 20. By the time it comes to NMC, the maximum you can bring is three. So we are the last sieve, the final sieve. Even that, they sometimes number them according to their preference as it is coming from the bottom. And then we have the final say out of the two or three, or indeed one that they bring. Unless we know something, we try to keep the uh, choice of the people on the ground. Mm. So popularity also must be uh, said to be based on what? Uh, popularity also must be seen as uh, within the party and within the within you know within the party and within the general populace in that particular area. Mm. There was a lot of happiness that was expressed all over the country. People expressed happiness uh, with your appointment, and uh, you. some have been saying that we, we expect and we need a lot of changes, especially when it comes to the leadership of the UPND, not just only at vice president level, but even the SG and 
uh, and, and all these other, you know, positions. Do you think, or is that the way, I, 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 I do not for a fact this is a prism of the, of, of the president, but is, is that, you know, the direction you're, you're, you're headed to as the UPND? I don't know if, if, if you are in the position to answer that question, Madam Vice President. Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe I must uh, seek more clarity. Every election brings changes. Changes, of course. Just like I've changed position. I was chairman, remember. But I'm now vice president. And, uh, and, and just there, is, uh, according to your constitution, which one is higher? The chairperson or... <laughs> Uh, for me, the, the, someone oh. was saying that was a demotion. The, the Madam Alumbango has been demoted to vice president. Yeah, I know that is malice. That is malice. <laughs> <laughs> that is malice. Anybody knows that uh, vice president is, is just next to the president. the president. Then after that comes the chairman. So, so I don't know what kind of pro promotion. The demotion. To me, I've been highly promoted. promoted. And that's why I'm saying it. I told you what comes with this office that it's more responsibility. It's a lot of duty. It's a lot of burden. It's a little bit more than I carried as a chairman of the party. That is at least our hierarchy. If others have another hierarchy, not in my party. In my party, vice presidents is higher than the yeah, chairman. Mm -hmm. And it, like I said, when you asked, I said, every election brings changes. And definitely there'll be changes, like starting with me. So there will be changes. Some will remain in their positions. Some will move. But I can't be specific and say, this one will move, that one will not move. The Lord will give us wisdom. Mm. We will give the president wisdom so that we are, you know, we, we, we are positions, positioned in a manner that we will be able to carry ourselves together. But remember, positions are not the most important. The most important is unity and the cause unity and the cause. What is it that we want to achieve as a party? And whether you are a treasurer, whether you are a trustee, whether you are at which level of management, we move as one. Some may have a little more responsibility mm. than others, but nobody is a nobody. Nobody should be looked down on because we are all one. So we have a purpose we have a cause, and all of us. The hundred that will be in the NMC. Is it uh, not 90? No. It's 100. Yeah. All of us have a cause. Even those that did not make it in the NMC, mm. they are as important as those who made it. Because you can't just say, okay, all of us will be working. That's why we fill in the gaps. It is not necessary that those who don't have positions are useless. Some work even harder than those that occupy positions. Mm. So for us, it was a matter of let us fill the positions, let us meet what we need to do, let us be as democratic as we can, and today we are in full, but we have a duty. You know the duty is on the 12th of August when we change government, because we want to look at that youth, that youth we want to look at that woman. We want to see that that teacher who has been trained at a high cost by this poor parent can't find a job. And yet there are schools all over with a pupil teacher ratio that is horrible. They must be employed. We want to come and ensure that the nurse, any medical personnel that is trained, look at the patient doctor nurse ratio it's horrible we need them there are clinics hospitals today where you don't find trained medical personnel we need them for us to deliver quality education for us to deliver good health care these are just some of the things that we need to do mm. i do know that the fact, is the agenda madam, madam vice president that yes, uh, for you the next election is non-negotiable. You just need to ensure that you form government. Why should we negotiate with who? But, 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 but non-negotiable. Non you, you, you just have to form government with the people of Zambia. We have to. I, indeed. But, but then m m many say, I don't know, I don't know if you've come across this, but I've, I've, chat, I've, I've, I've chatted a lot with Honorable Garin Kombo on this platform. 
the people say the UPND don't have strategy. Yes, they've got great thinkers like Madame Nalumango, they've got great thinkers like Garing Combo, and many of these you know, educated great thinkers, but they don't have proper strategists who can win them an election. Oh. What is the approach to ensure that indeed the UPND is the next government coming this election? Yeah. If you are t talking about how the nitty gritties, that is never a public discussion. If that's what you mean, that's never a public discussion. Even those that are corrupting people, if that is their strategy to buy off people, do you think they will come and say, we are winning through buying? Strategy is not something we, we make public. That's it's, definitely it's, your strategy. We, we do. We do. But you know the first strategy. I'll tell you the first strategy. Why we are so confident? It's you. You are my strategy. Because you are Zambian, you have seen things going wrong, and we are giving you what we want to do. And therefore, we believe in the people. We believe in you and every Zambian out there. Who knows that things can be better? Zambia is endowed with so much. We bring to the table a full package. We bring to the table better things. We bring to the table a, an economy that will cater for everybody. We bring to the table the fact that we can manage the resources of our land for everybody to have a decent meal on every day. We bring to the table removal of corruption from management. We bring to the table love for every Zambian. We bring to the table removal of greedy people removal we bring to the table removal of corruption intolerance to corruption we bring to the table credibility integrity we bring to the table the removal of honeybee and fire tender purchasing so we bring to the table Hmm. Many of those things. Okay. But Madam Vice President, would you agree uh, with me and many Zambians that are watching us now that the UPND has been quite, has been quite reactive uh, to agendas, especially those that are thrown at you by the Patriotic Front? You do not have your own blueprint of how you want to change the face of this country. Hmm. Many, many times we've been very reactive. Would you agree? No. Uh, yeah, reactive is a normal reaction, okay? When you pinch me, you expect me to just sit. If that's what you're talking about, when uh, PF does something wrong, it is our duty to provide checks and balances to inform the nation. If you are calling that the reactive, fine, then we are supposed to be reacting to the negative. But we have but an I mean, agenda, Madam, like I'm yes, telling you course, now, ahead, that we want to come and create jobs. I don't think that's a reactive. We are reacting to reality on the ground. Our young people that have gone to school, some are doing wrong things after being trained as what? They come and end up doing wrong things. So we want to come and create jobs in the country by growing the economy. If you listen to my president yesterday, he was very clear and I loved it and therefore I'll repeat it. For anything to run in the country, you need the economy to be running. And that's what we are talking about. That is not reactive. That is our agenda. Hmm. That is our agenda to ensure the industry is revived. It is our agenda to ensure that we are able to export. What do we export? We are able to do value addition on agricultural things that we produce. How do we ensure there is productivity in agriculture? We intend to have even extension officers to ensure that people are cultivating properly, to ensure that the price of fertilizer is, you know, controlled. When I say controlled, reduced. Maybe I can use that. Hmm. You know, there's a lot of procurement issues that are wrong that people cash in. We, we are able to create 
our own, for example, you know, to grow our own fertilizer industries and be able to produce our own. We are able to do that. We are able today. Things are dear. We are talking of growing an industry. That means energy must be looked at. Come on. We are able. These are on our plans. We are able to give every province 10 megawatts of solar energy. With that increased, what can't you have? What industry can't you have in the entire country? There is no crying for a Zambian when you have the right leadership because God has given us all things. The Bible says all things to enjoy. Mm. He has given us all things in the country. You hear of extreme weather patterns in other places. We have a moderate weather pattern. We have wonderful arable land. And we have wonderful brains like yours. No, Why I'm, should we yeah. be poor? So we are talking of the economy resuscitated, revived. That is where we all dwell. With a revived economy, we are able to finance the education. We are able to finance all these other sectors free education well. and indeed yeah, well, all other we'll, sectors, in including last... empowerment of the youth. Because jobs are not just white collar. Yeah. We are talking of small and medium businesses with facilitation of a credit services. I'd love to go to your reaction, Madam Vice President. We do know for a fact that 2020 brought, was just another year, besides the COVID-19, uh, you suffered a lot of defections, uh, you know, that uh, saw us get into a lot of by-elections in the history of this country. We've not had as many as by-elections as we had in 2020. Uh, they were necessitated by the resignations of your ward councillors. The big blow on your part, Madam Vice President, and your party is that amidst you losing these candidates, some of them even lost the elections. Hasn't this... Some of them lost? So some, some, so you, when you recontested, you, you lost some of the elections, these by-elections, especially in Sesheke, many mm -hmm. of those by-elections in Sesheke. You did lose quite a number of them, Madam Vice President, and your party. In Sesheke, I mean, we had in Sesheke, I thought we have had only one. One, other uh, than in, the, in Western, I mean, Other yes. than the, that which came by death. By, by but death. you are talking of Western province. Yes, I, 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 mean, I mean Western province. Yeah, okay. um, hasn't this, you know... Uh, unsettled us. Unsettled the, 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 the UPND, because... I think it is at a time when clearly everything has gone wrong in this country. You mm -hmm. spoke about the economy that has gone wrong, exactly. and, and people are able to see that the economy is not exactly. doing well. But on top of that, they have not given you the chance to be the alternative exactly. to, 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 to provide solutions. They've mm -hmm. still given the PF, okay. you, know, the, the, you know, the vote. Very clear. H hasn't this really no, 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 no. You, shaken you? You should be following the trend. And uh, I think I sat somewhere here in this room last year when we talked about uh, uh, similar issues, and I do agree. In fact, during this period, particularly this term of office of the Patriot Front, in my mind, the by-elections we have had probably would uh, mount to more than what we have had since 1964. I want somebody to do that. Huh? Find out how many by elections have we had in this country under UNIP, under MMD, compared to what we have had. All of them put together for the last, you know, 40 whatever years. You look at what we have had in PF, it surpasses the old. So, what is it? Is it that Zambians have changed? It is the governance, my son. It is the governance which has gone wrong. They have created this high poverty level. You know, people don't resign in my country for nothing. People are so poor, including the councillors. Some of them stayed a long time even without being paid. I hate to, to start wasting time on this because they are being bought. They are being given. You have seen some people come and tell us we were given, how much was that uh, the last time I, I talked to councillors that had gone and rescinded the decisions. their decisions? That was in Lufuanyama. Sorry, the figure has gone. It's a very small figure of money that they gave them. 
and promise them jobs. You have seen that some of them have become, suddenly they tell them resign, and then you become, you know, if they were trained teachers, you become a teacher. Midway, why not wait until a person finishes the term? Some of them have been left in limbo, even after promises. They are nothing today. Some are coming back. But you see, this is not genuine resignation. This is induced by these guys who are supposed to know that every by election is a cost to the national coffers. Yes, to us. Maybe they wanted to cripple us that as we participate, then we run out of steam and resources. Oh, we have given them a good run. But the cost is to the government. When the Electoral Commission can continuously spend money, it hurts, my son. That you can spend money on an unnecessary by-election just to look popular, yet you have no medicine in the hospital, yet somebody's dying, yet somebody's child can't go to school, yet somebody's dying from hunger. This is the patriotic front for you. So they, they by elections, they many, mm. nothing has changed. They are induced. They are induced. I Almost. I, I, I agree with you that uh, uh, there are some which were indeed from the acts of God. But the majority of them are induced. Don't tell me, then we should have won. No. You remember when I said I didn't spend a coin? Mm. It was here I've said that. Yes. I didn't spend a coin. Because I'm not going to be like colleagues who buy votes. They have created poverty. Surely, have you not seen you are the media people who should be helping this country? You know? And I mean it. Have you not shown one, even a DMMU, in a place where there is a by-election dishing out millimil? Have you not seen PF go into the people whose money has been stolen and put into their pockets. They go there and they give them, you know, from them. They steal from you, then they come and give you a bag of millimil, ikabomba for a few days, and they abandon you. This is the kind of campaign that has come. Today, today, this government is going around through their MPs dishing out whatever they give. You have even seen those who are now going in the markets, 100 kwacha, 100 kwacha, 50 kwacha. Is that what they elected you for? You steal our money and you make us beggars? Come on, God is watching you. Where are you getting this money from? I mean, it's simply common sense. So there is no proper election, but come general election, so definitely you know, we're not shaken about the, the, you know, these, no, we are not. small losses. No, 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 we don't call them small, but it is the environment that has been created. And you know what? Zambians sometimes think and say, even if we choose, I refuse the bag of millimeter, right? mm. and I go and elect my member, UPND, the system will still remain PF system. They will still steal the money for the road that comes to Shangombo. They will still steal the money that is supposed to build a school in Kaputa. Mm. So let me eat the millimeter. Come general election, it's time for change. I hope you are listening to me, Zambia. Nishta ya kuchinja. Bela tubepa. Impia wale fole shate shavo. Tulefwa yokuisa wamye chalo. Ifi patala, afika kwa chomuti. Tuika la nwa hane bi. Awe. Tuika la nwa. Tuika lale kabantu wale shitendeke ya kuenda mwe mufiashi we. We mufiashi, wali mufiashi wa shani. Uinga ya ashite chindeke chikulu. Ukuenda mufi ya weka nishaba na wale ufa mchipatala. Nishaba na taba kwete na oksijini. We mufiashi we. Wali vipo mutima. Madam Vice President, let me give an opportunity to two Zambians to speak to you this afternoon before I can ask my last question. Uh, come through, give us your contributions. The number is scrolling down your TV screen. I uh, only give an opportunity to two callers uh, that can uh, ask their question uh, to the Vice President of the UPND, Honorable uh, Mutale Nalumango. Is my, she's my guest this evening. 
this afternoon on today's edition of election watch we're looking at uh, the readiness of UPND uh, for this coming election we're having our elections on the 12th of August this particular year hello good afternoon yes who's on the line and where are you calling us from Uh, you can ask a question to the Vice President of the UPND. I have a question for the Vice President. Hmm. I have a question. Uh, Madam Vice President. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can answer. I want to know how many people have been to the UPND. Did we hear that? Can you come again, Mr. Kanyanta? another call and then uh, the vice president of the UPND could collectively respond to the question Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, yes, who's on the line and where are you, where you calling us from? Uh, Mr. Wiseman from Kabul. Please go ahead and forward your question to the vice president. Good afternoon, Mr. Wiseman. Thank you, sir. We wish you all the best in your journey, madam. Thank you, sir. We have the trust in Madam, I wanted to find out. Uh, uh, this is a uh, way back to a lot of our Are you not come again, Mr. Wiseman? Are you, are, are you not what? Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't have some suspicion. I don't have any suspicion. Me, myself, definitely. I'm suspecting that person is going to mention one opposition leader in the process of this interrogation. And that opposition is the subject of the Let's get a switch off the phone. Um, a question came through from Solozi and asked by Kanyanta. Uh, are you coming into power, Madam Vice President, to uh, correct the wrongs of the Patriotic Front, or you have the vision of yourselves as a UPND that you're coming to deliver to the people of Zambia? Thank you. A very important que question by Kanyanta. I appreciate this kind. Are we coming in just because PF has failed? Remember, we existed before PF came into power. That is very, very important to understand and colleagues, all Zambians, that we came into existence before PF came into power. This, why am I saying this? That means we have a vision for the country. We, we foresee what this country can become. That is very, very important. That's why we want to go into power. Maybe we would be weakened if PF did. So it's a combination. If PF was doing very well, it would be even a little difficult for us to say our vision must be pushed. Because maybe the vision would have merged. What the PF are doing and what we are doing could have merged. Then we would probably by now be a minor political party. Remember, for example, in 20... In a, uh, 2001, Levy came in, into power, mm. almost a minority leader. In 2006, he showed up. That means those that were opposing MMD at the time went down. That's the way things work out. If PF was doing very well, UPND would be weak now. Because people say, oh, they are working. Mm. So what is it? We would become... We would still say one day we'll go in if things don't work. This is our vision we are selling. But now the combination is what is at work. We have our vision, Mr. Kanyanta. 
a clear vision of what we want, like I've been talking about here, is to improve the economy of uh, our uh, nation. Now we have a new challenge on the scene. And if you listened to our, uh, you listened to our, uh, this, our theme for the General Assembly, which is our general theme, is to reunite. It is a new phenomenon. So we have to continuously evolve ourselves. Zambians are almost polarized because of the political agenda of staying in power by using wrong means, including dividing people, exclusion. So we have a duty to that because we have seen it happening. But our general picture of seeing, for example, the economy of the country is something that stands long before. So it's a combination, sir. We will get rid of PF because of their failures so that our vision can succeed to change the livelihoods of Zambians. It is doable. Like I've mentioned, there is no need for people to go hungry when you have land, so much land. You have beautiful fresh water. You can even grow. You remember in our time, at the time of Levy, there was even winter maize. Why should people go hungry? Why should we allow a regime that does not care? So it's a combination of both. Combination of both. Yes. Mm. We have our vision. But if the vision of PF was good and it was working, we would probably today be not the largest party, which you want to call the largest opposition. I'm saying the largest, the largest party. party because of the combination of, of the, two. the two. One man once said, uh, Honorable, uh, I, Madam, I Madam Vice President. Answered. Yes, please, okay. please go ahead. Okay. But it is, it, is, okay. it is in relation with, with, okay. with uh, okay. one man once said that if there's a party that should be easy to kick out of office is the PF. Yes. Because they've done literally everything wrong. Mm -hmm. But then we just don't have a strong opposition because <laughs> PF should have been booted out of power a long time because they've just messed up everything. This is what, this is what, this is what, what one man yeah, talked yeah. to. But he told me, look, the Many largest opposition that we have that. is the UPND. But I yeah. think they don't have enough political stamina. Yeah to kick the PF out of power. You will remember, you know, we are kicking them out uh, on 12th of August. You have to go back to the history. You will see that uh, Sata started off with a strong thrash. I don't want to go into Sata room. Hmm. Lungu came in more on a sympathy. That is Zambian. It's Zambian. We don't speak evil of uh, the dead. So he came on in under that. Of course, 2016 election was contentious. Remember where we have come from. Was it a true win? We have gone through time. Was it a true win? We shall win in it. That is the question we asked, which was never resolved, because we said no. But we are peace-loving Zambians. Here we are. This time around, you are asking for strategy. You are my strategy. You don't allow anybody to steal your vote. You don't allow anybody to tamper with it. Keep your NRC. That is strategy number one. Are you hungry? Have you seen some people get rich by magic while you are getting poor? Has your child gone to hospital and there is no medicine? What are you thinking? Have you been trained and you have no job? What are you thinking? UPND has answers to this. We want to come and work, serve the Zambian people, stop the pilfering, stop the wastage, stop the wastage, so that the resources come back. Then you can talk. Let's get to uh, your member that was shot. Uh, it didn't say it was my member, it said my sympathizer. Sympath no, no, uh, it, it speaks about uh, Mr. Kaunda who was shot. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Kaunda and his Of course. What a day. Tragic, terrible. You know what we have said before, you know what we intended, you know what the family of Kaunda said, you know that there, there was need for, you know, whatever the lawyers will call inquest and things like that. Now he says, his fear is that the man, the policeman, who has been arrested may start implicating him. My president, I think he was clear enough. Yes. Oh, that would be sad. 
That will be extremely sad. The Zambians are watching. Thank you for this question, because we are all there. And you see, a question like this goes to show that people have no confidence in this government, because such a question should not be asked. Why should a person even imagine that an innocent person will be implicated? implicated. Because this is what is happening. Because they have done it before. Colleagues in government, be straightforward so that Zambians can be confident in what you are doing before we kick you out. Show something at least that you are credible enough. Can you imagine such a question? When people lose confidence in institutions of governance, it's a failed state. It's a banana republic. That's what you are called. This is where you are driving us to. That you allow a poor Zambian, intelligent enough, to think that, is this real? Because you have done too many unreal things that people have no trust. Surely, my wise man, I hope and pray that such a trap cannot be done. Because the innocent will always be proved innocent. Mm. I know my director tells me uh, my time is up, but as, as we close, Madam Vice President, why UPND uh, come 12th of August 2021? And uh, I would also, also, also like you to address the people of Zambia on your closing remarks. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, my son. Uh, come, 20, come 12th of August this year, 2021, Zambians, you have gone through enough you have been subjected to every negative that you can think of. Don't think of the, that bag of mealy meal for that one day during the general election. That will not resolve. They give you, you eat. Because it's your money that has been stolen. When did that man get rich? Today I'm not mentioning names. <laughs> because the one I mentioned is the president. The bag that stops with him. When, when did they get that rich? I was in government longer than these guys. So you can't lie to me that you can become rich as a minister, as a whatever you are called. No, because there isn't a salary that you throw over. You can't get rich if you have not corruptly gotten it or you have not abused your office, the, the, the authority of your office. Even contracts, if you say, no, we are doing contracts, or we are getting mines, our mines yours only to get. Even doing that is abusing the authority of your office. Zambians, we are saying, come, Haga in the with his team, we are getting rid of that. Don't join us. If you think you want to be a minister, to be rich yourself, we want to serve the people of Zambia. My president said, you want to be a minister? You will be driving a Toyota Hilux because there is no need for you to have these big VXs when Zambians are dying from hunger, when Zambians have no medicine in the hospital. There is a government that is coming. Keep your vote. That is your weapon. Keep your vote and vote on that day. They can get all the numbers they want because this is what they are doing. Keep your vote. Keep your NRC vote, Haga Inde, Hichilema, and his team everywhere and hold us accountable for five years and see if there will be no change. Your job is coming, but teacher. Your conditions of service will change, but teacher. Money is there. It is being squandered. We will deal with the issue of debt. We will deal with how we look after the resources of your resources. Unfortunately, Zambians. Madam Vice President, time is not really our best ally, but I would like to thank you so much for having made time thank to you. appear on today's edition mm -hmm. of Election Watch. It's a, it's a pleasure. I have enjoyed being here. Call us. We continue to have a conversation with the Zambians through you. You are great, the media. Never be intimidated by media everywhere. You are the fourth estate. You have a duty to Zambia. We wish you all the best ahead Thank of the you. elections. Thank you. Thanks so much to my producer, uh, Sadlitz Nkwanjama, director, last year. Let's quickly uh, get to the news desk with Messi Banda. For now, good afternoon.